Carbosaurus. Design After the Dreadnoughtus battle, we get to see a pack of Tarbosaurus lounging around like big birdie lizard puppers. Tarbosaurus is an awfully close relative to Tyrannosaurus and has been lumped into the Tyrannosaurus genus a few times by different researchers over the years. The genus was named in the 1950s based on a bunch of great fossils from late Cretaceous Mongolia. It was like a lighter, smaller form of Tyrannosaurus, hence why it has been named Tyrannosaurus a couple times. There seems to be just a few too many differences between the two to lump them though. Like the Tyrannosaurus of the first episode, these Tarbosauruses are filled out with muscle and fat to the point at which they look like healthy real-world animals. Interestingly, they are replete with a reddish top and tan bottom, with more black outlined tan spots across their top, similar to many modern lizards and forest-dwelling big cats. They do seem more like the spots seen on a lot of desert lizards though. Their faces are covered in lip-like oral tissues, which a recently published study has reinforced as the default facial covering for all terrestrial vertebrate animals. The prehistoric planet team has also reconstructed their Tarbosauruses with a fine covering of short filaments that you can only barely see. Dr. Darren Nash stated that despite the possibility of Tyrannosaurids having filaments being a controversial topic, some recent studies conclude that filaments may indeed have been present along the dorsal midline at least. Nash stated that, All I'll say at this point is that the scientific discussion isn't over, and that the presence of both scales and filaments should be considered very much possible. Behavior The first segment with the Tarbosaurus has them lounging and napping after a big meal. This is very similar to many modern mammals, but I mean, I'm pretty sure every animal does this. Reptiles bask after eating and lounge around. It's just nice to see dinosaurs acting like the animals they were and doing absolutely nothing. I have similarly little to say about the Tarbosaurus when it reappears later in the episode during the waterhole scene. It shows up, comes up to the water, and leaves. The rest of the animals give it a lot of space because of the obvious, and we see this among herbivores and carnivores in modern watering holes. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching.